is Archbishop John Wayne Manning, senior pastor from the Omega Church in International to our Church on Sunday, 1300 Northeast 38th Street in Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Sunday service at 11 a.m., Thursday Bible study. Monday to Friday, we feed the community with free groceries, hot meals, and visitors and friends, children and adults, laymen and great men. Today I ask you and I invite you to let us unite our praise together and let us send up a praise from this place that it will touch the holies of holies that everything that we beseech heaven for today that it is finished. Let us rejoice and release our praise to the Almighty. Let us praise him for what he's about to do. Praise God. Judea, 
Is there anything too hard for him to do? Get rid of your doubts. Get rid of your fears. Get rid of it, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, get rid of it. We are not known as doubters. We are known as believers. We believe even when we don't see the tools that we need to succeed. We believe even when situation seems to be looking us eyeball to eyeball, we believe. And when we stand believing, we don't doubt. If we're believing God for healing, breakthroughs, deliverance, it may not come as yet, but you continue to believe and trust God that God will do it one day. And he will do it a sooner day than later day. I'm here to remind God's children today that I believe that your latter years will be greater than your former years. Let somebody make some noise in this place. All we have to do is believe God. All we have to do is turn it to God. All we have to do is trust in God. You know, we put our trust in money. We put our trust in friends. Friends would leave us. Friends will turn their back upon us. Family will turn their back upon us. But today, I encourage you, put your trust in God. In Him we live. In Him we move believers. And in Him we have our beings. So I encourage you today, get rid of your doubts. I'm here to remind you that God is an on-time God. He will not come when you want Him to. But I have faith to believe that he will come at time. Brothers and sisters, listen, cast out every doubt and every fear today, will you? Those thoughts in the back of your mind that's telling you it won't work and it won't change. Those doubtful thoughts that are telling you things that you ought not to listen to. Not everything that you heard is good for you. Not everything that you hear is meant for you. But I want you to believe and hear God's word today that God will do it again one more time. And if this is the 10th time he's doing it, then God will do it the 11th time one more time. And if he's done it the 11th time, he will do it the 12th time. And if he's done it the 12th time, he will do it the 13th time. And if he's done it the 13th time, he will do it the 14th time. Let us believe God today. He will do it again. Brothers and sisters, let us believe God today that he will do it one more time. A songwriter said he will do it again. Brothers and sisters, he will do it again. Brothers and sisters, let us see what the men and women of faith have seen. They have seen things that you have not seen in your lifetime. But one thing we have in common is a believing factor. Let us believe God's word. He said it in his word. That even though you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. God said it, do not fret yourself today. Do not worry yourself today. Put your faith and your trust in God. I know your difficulties and your trials are long sometimes, but it will not be forever. This season will change. I guarantee you that this season will change. In the natural season change, and the supernatural season change. And if you believe in God for a change, hold on to that belief. And I'm saying to somebody today, although it has not happened as yet, still hold on. Brothers and sisters, still hold on. Still hold on. I believe that victory is on the horizon. I believe that victory is within sight. Still hold on. Still hold on. Brothers and sisters, still hold on. Hold on, brothers and sisters, still hold on. No, 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 you can't quit. You can't quit this week. You can't stop this week. No, you gotta keep on believing. You gotta keep on trusting. And most importantly, you gotta keep on standing. We are redeemed. We are believers. We have been washed in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We have something to hold on to. We have something to look to. We have something to look forward to. Your tomorrow will be greater than your now. I still believe we cannot lose hope in God's confidence.
Brothers and sisters, do not cast away your confidence today. Renew your hope. Renew your faith. Renew your confidence. Renew yourself, renew your mind. No one but you yourself can set you free. What are you telling yourself today? How do you see yourself today? Do you see yourself inferior, intimidated? Or do you see yourself that you are more than a conqueror? Hallelujah. Do you believe the word of God today? Brothers and sisters, when you have done all, stand on God's word. We have nothing else to take to the bank. We have nothing else to take to our family. We have nothing else to take to the job tomorrow. But stand on God's word. Stand on the holy words of God. Stand and keep on standing. The apostle Paul said, when you have done all, stand. One thing we can do is stand. Doesn't require a lot of brain understanding to stand. You just make up your mind and have a determination that you will stand. I know sometimes you may feel as if you're victims, but I'm here to remind you, while you're standing, you're no longer a victim, but you're victorious mentally. And if you know that you're victorious mentally, let us set up a praise in this place. Brothers and sisters, for all that we have been through, we can praise God. This is where we get our breakthroughs. Brothers and sisters, we are not behind anymore. Listen, I therefore say to all of you, if you are where you are and you don't like where you are, I believe that God is still able to take you where you deserve to be. Don't put any limits on God. Today I speak to your doubts. Get rid of your doubts. Because those doubts will lead to condemnation. And if it only lead to condemnation, but it leave also for you to feel bad about yourself. Get rid of those doubts. Get rid of those doubts, brothers and sisters. Get rid of those doubts. Church is a place where you can come on a Sunday and release your problems. Church is a place where you can come and get deliverance and breakthrough. Sitting in your chairs, at the altar, as long as you touch the premises of the anointing, you will get deliverance. You will get your breakthrough. It's your right. It is your birthright to be here. It is your birthright to leave here differently from the way you came. It is your right. Hallelujah. Those brothers and sisters in the word of God have seen the glory of God. You and I can also say that we have seen the glory. Believe God. Trust God. We're not where we want to be as yet. But we will get there at the right time. We will get there together, brothers and sisters. We will get there together. Brothers and sisters, let us stand together. Let us continue to pray together. Let us continue to believe together. Let's continue to walk in unity together. Our change will come because God is not a prejudice. He is not a prejudice God. What he has done for others, he's still able to do it for you and I. Continue believing today. I encourage you today to continue to believe. Continue to believe. Continue to trust Jesus. Continue to trust Jesus. Do not allow doubts to come in. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Believers of the Most High God, comrades of the Most High Jesus Christ, there is no high like the Most High. Brothers and sisters, I say there is no high like the Most High. Brothers and sisters, I say to you, there is no high like the Most High. Again, I made an appeal to you that there is no high as the Most High. 
that can take you higher than you ever been. There is no high like the Most High. And we serve the Most High. He will take us higher than we have ever been. He will give you wings that you will soar like the eagle and higher than the eagle. Get rid of your doubts today. I speak to your doubts. Today I release confidence. Release confidence in your mind. I release confidence in your belief. I release confidence in your homes. I release confidence in your families. I release confidence in your healing. I release confidence in your job. I release confidence in your mind. I release confidence in every part of your being. I release confidence today that you will know that you will make it. I release confidence today. I release confidence today. Yes, we are still ahead and not the tail, believers. We are still lenders and not borrowers. We are still blessed and not cursed. We are blessed in Broward County. We are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the state. We are blessed out of the state. And everything that we touch, it is blessed. There is a blessing in the making. There is a miracle in the making. Reach out and touch it today. Because the Lord is passing by. The Lord is passing by. The Lord is passing by in this place. The Lord is passing by in this place. There's a miracle in the making.
Brothers and sisters, it's not over until the Most High said so. It is not over. Those of you that felt as if it's over, those of you that felt today that your life is over because you have not seen the changes yet. Brothers and sisters, it's not over until God says so. God still have the last say. And I want you to know today that we are still on the winning side. We are still standing with the winner. Christ Jesus is the winner man. No one has done what he has done. We are on the winning side. So let the redeem of the Lord just say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. It's not over, saints. Maybe seated if you care. It's not over. Are you dealing with all your doubts? I'll ask Mr. Sam to bring up the word for me. It's not over. Come on, let me hear you say, it's not. Come on. It's not. Who told you it's over? Who told you that your life is over? Hallelujah. I know that you've been attacked all the time. But whenever you're being attacked, you know that God is getting ready to give you a liar. The same day that happened, the enemy tried to burn me up. But we serve a God that is still able. Can I get a witness, Christian? Hallelujah. You see, if you've never been through anything, you wouldn't know that God is a deliverer. Amen. And if we live our lives every day and we don't have any concerns, something is wrong in our life. Do you understand? Because the devil has designed a strategic fight against you and I. But we know that we are on the winning side. Today I want to talk to you real quick from the topic of budget, our budgeting. And this is one of the major problems that we have in the body of Christ. Can you hear me? So today, God... This is one of my longest sermons that God gave me, but I'm not going to go through it all. I'd like you to go to the website and on the sermon, www.theomegachurch.com. Click on sermon, print it, or just go to your computer because this is very important. Even in this great country, people live from paycheck to paycheck, week to week. A lot of folks who are wealthy in this country, even they themselves, if they have a bad week in their company, there's no guarantee that they will make, make it to open their business the following year. Are you with me? So God has inspired me today to talk to you a little bit about budgeting. Is that all right? Preaching, again, is for sinners. Teaching is for the church. So every week... Brothers and sisters... John Wayne Manning, senior pastor from the Omega Church, inviting you to our church in Southeast 38th Street in Oakland Park, Florida, 34. 11 a.m. Thursday Bible study, Monday to Friday, hot meals, happy to help you in any capacity that you might need. Our we have our second church location in the Church of Coast. We'd like to invite you to that church every Sunday at 12 noon. Church is located at 2200 north federal highway in Stroud, florida and we would be delighted to have you there it is one block south in Stroud. again the address for that location is 2200 north federal highway in jensen beach florida one block south of the jensen beach mall love to invite you to our church there on sunday in the church of coast area at 12 noon and of course thursday night is bible study monday to friday we feed the community there with fresh groceries we are delighted to invite you out to our church. You can visit us on the World Wide Web at www.theomegachurch.com. 
there you can take a look at our site we have an online radio you can tune in and invite a friend and listen to our radio station again the website is www.theomegachurch.com once you're there on the website the radio will play automatically as a christian we also have a christian social network christian social network is mychurchinfo.com create a login and you may feel free to talk about your church talk about what you're doing at your church if you need help you can post a blog there christian singles that are looking for brothers and sisters you can put pictures of yourself your sermons your invite you to go there to the website at www.mychurchinfo.com and you can talk a little bit about what you're doing in your community we will take those information and we'll put it on our tv so again, this is Archbishop John Wayne Man, a pastor from the Omega Church International Ministry, saying God bless you. Hope that you stay tuned and tune in to listen to our program. God bless you. As we God's at the commission, Omega according to Matthew 25, we are asking you to prayerfully consider becoming a monthly financial partner with us. By going to our website at www dot the omega it's going too far you think we've gotten too radical with our message well i got news for you you ain't heard nothing yet and if you don't know now you know glory glory Join us at the Omega Church. We're now located at Rep, Florida, 333-34. Our church schedule, Sunday worship at 11 p.m. Last Friday, a concert party at 6 p.m. The daily radio program begins 6 a.m. to And also, you can get us live on Omega TV channel. We are a non-denominational Christian church. Love you. Give us a call. Talk to our church. Office open. Our phone number is 954-773-8377. And also, you can reach us on the web at www.theomegachurch.com. So come worship with us. Bishop Wayne Jonathan May. And have a blessed day. Please join us at the Omega Church. I'm Jamie Raylon and Nail from the Logan Girls Ministry. You can count me out tremendously, especially putting food on the table for me and my children. What's up? The feeding program is a good thing for people that's in the need. And we thank the Lord for this happening in a day like this. Thank God for Pastor Bishop Maynard for the heart that he had for the community.